Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the modeling of this particular interior over here. So let's get started. So we'll be continuing this. So very first of all, what I'll do over here is like I'll just make a small vase over here. So for that, let's take a box over here. After that, so convert to editable poly over here. Select this box, polygons. Slightly insert it a bit and just delete this or you can minus it in this click ok so now let's create this hanging design over here so for that I will take a line over here definitely will create that stuff so for that I will just create one line over here So now I can again go over here and go into this view. If you want we can just make this as connected over here and let's take a cylinder. So just take a cylinder over here enable in viewport reduce its thickness reduce remove the height segments convert to editable poly select the polygons give a bit of Insert over here, slightly extrude it, click OK. So I'll again go over here, slightly I'll scale it, select the vertices, push this down. Copy this, scale it, and again select this line, select the vertices, and push this down. So, again, make one more copy of it. Again, take a copy, scale it, duplicate it. So, select this whole thing and slightly just shuffle it over here in this way. You can slightly just push this out in this way so definitely we can create this texture if needed we can do that it's not a problem after that again I'll select this select this whole thing And let's just mirror it in x-axis, make a copy of it, 
will slide the gels, place it over here in this way. So I can shuffle a bit, a bit out till here because definitely will be slightly working on that area also. So I will just select the vertices, not much but a bit. So select this whole thing. Alright. After that, let's create this small assets on the side table. For that, let's again take a line over here. So select the vertices and let's again give a lathe modifier. So before that let's just save this file and give a lathe modifier. So go again into line over here, activate this. Again select this vertices and let's give a bit of fillet slightly all right so once you're done you can just keep this over here Again take a cone over here, activate this auto grid so increase its height, convert to editable poly, select the polygons and Slightly give a bit of bevel. So select this polygons, give a bit of inset and extrude it down. Click OK. So for that we will just keep it in this way. So now we need to create this, the back side of this. So how we can create is like, let's take a chamfer box right from this front view over here. So take a chamfer box till here. So let's again go into this. 
reduce its fillet if required and slightly reduce its height increase its height keep it in this way so now what I can do over here is like I'll just convert this to editable poly I'll slightly shift this over here again I'll take one more copy of it I'll push it over here I'll shuffle this up and I can slightly adjust it in this way looks much better so we have one more over here so again I will take one more copy of it I will shuffle this a bit inside slightly I will just push this up over here So select this all three and I'll mirror it in X axis over here. So if you want we can slightly just keep on reducing this stuff. It's not a problem. That can be done. now looks much perfect again so copy this push it over here and let's again take this duplicate it ok before we duplicate this I want that this should be much straighter so I can just make it straight over here like this and I'll shuffle this a bit up over here so that's how your design is ready over here Alright, so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So we will continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.